all right so if you have to go somewhere like in the middle of the uh, uh, session on p labs you can actually go to click on this button and you can actually go to um, do whatever you want to do so you get the time there so my time has expired I think I got the same thing what was that uh, um, all right so I think we have to start again and um, let's go installing Windows 10 we went through one one was connecting your lab we were done with that we were managing system image backup and restore so we did all this right <coughs> so install the windows then we went through all the way up to if you remember the restore the machine let's turn it on the power oh it's on all right so <coughs> and this was it now let's go to third page and see managing system restore points <coughs> so it says how to power them on it's on <coughs> so don't show again oh it's just up there okay close I really want to find a way to make this window larger like, is it possible anyway <clears throat> I don't want to click on this because my screen is not all the way um, So that was the auto launch. There's nothing here. <coughs> Let's start. <coughs> Two or four, three or four. We got that. Let's close it down. Now we have to manage system restore points. Enable system restore points. So if you know this system restore from our, our earlier version of windows that uh, I s we first started using it with windows xp that it takes a snapshot or a picture of the whole system and then you know if your system is not booting after uh, <coughs> installing a software when you restart it uh, like windows xp when you restart it come back and it's uh, the operating system is unusable so that was a nice feature i used it a few times that saved me the trouble of uh, installing uh, Windows all over again. <laughs> so again, they want you to click on system, so we are already in system, so we don't have to. Let's go to the thirds, which is a protection settings. On the system properties dialog box, system protection, right here protection settings that would be system protection <clears throat> local this C that's the system as well like the system is installed on this one uh, we are Windows 10 yes so Select turn on system protection radio button. There's no button. This uh, you have to click on configure and turn on system protection and you on. That's it. You're done. <coughs> windows open. Keep system windows open. So now it's the second toss. We second toss add windows feature. If you remember from my other video that we used add system 
uh, earlier uh, from my earlier windows uh, oh sorry earlier videos we use that feature to enable hyper-v -E. I think that's uh, what they're talking about click control panel home so we click OK and control panel home is this one <coughs> programs links so. active directory lightweight directory service LDAP lightweight directory service all right I think you click OK that's neat Active Directory Lightweight. I'm not sure if it's the same as the RSET. DOS 3 Verify Availability of Installed Windows Feature. We close it. We minimize this one. <coughs> Let's click the search, search the web at Windows box and type active. Oh, you have to search in Cortona. I'm not a fan of Cortona. Hi, Co oh, Cortana. Active directory. So basically, I can do that from Windows as well. Why don't I have to? yes so it's installed they just wanted to verify they want to cancel it <coughs> perform our system restore point guys so click programs on taskbar that would be store programs on taskbar task manager is this the programs yes ah okay inside control panel click system and security on the left system and security click system Right there. <coughs> system protection. Click system restore. So if you see time is 320 now, and I think we did that on that time, it want us to restore it. So we're gonna go with the restore process and basically what they want to do is um, they want to restore and when then again when you search for active directory a lightweight service it will not be there because the system has restored itself click finish <coughs> yeah go ahead with that one so it's restarting we'll initiate a restart and wait while so state you enter the password So it's telling you please wait while your windows files and settings are being restored so it's initializing we can wait for that and then it's gonna restart itself when it comes back we're gonna enter the password and when we search for active it will not be there right because it's restoring itself and you see right here it's actually saying so I assumed correctly that's what they want you to do <coughs>
was back. Let's give it the <clears throat> system restored successfully. Still at this to this date and this time. And that time is obviously not uh, in the USA. That's uh, for the UK where the practice labs is uh, hosted or based on. All right, so if uh, now, again, we have to go downstairs. Okay, this time it went a little bit faster. Right there. <coughs> so it says, connect your device to your work or school. It does not, it did not uh, find me that um, Active Directory lightweight services. But what if I go to that, oh. All right, so if I go to that, uh, if I go to programs and features, <coughs> turn Windows feature on or off, Active Directory is not clicked, right? So it got restored. So now it's the end of this. Uh, um, um, whatever the thing was um, the lab they want you to close shut it down so to shut it down all you have to do is just power off so see what happens when you power it off it's busy you get instantly disconnected from the session and that's it you're done with the whatever practice lab <coughs> they were offering so far I'm liking it it's good uh, it is um, if you have a decent computer, um, <clears throat> an old one, uh, like my other machine, and you don't have the money to go and buy, spend at least like $500, $700 to build yourself a computer to um, create your own, own lab, uh, it's a good viable option. I don't, but it depends how much they charge for a year. Because <clears throat> if it's like uh, three hundred dollar for a year, um, it depends. Do you want to spend three hundred dollar for one year, or um, not? Because the, if you know that you knew and you're gonna be using it for a little longer, then uh like the second year uh, you will be better off uh, making your own computer because uh every year the processors are get, getting stronger and when whenever there's a new launch the old one processors which are still very good for you they slash the price in half <clears throat> so you can pick up a decent uh um like I have Ryzen 2700X. I think I bought it for $200. And then all you need is 50 You can get a motherboard for $50, $60, $70, 80 90 100 That should do it. Like, you don't have to go and buy a crazy motherboard, like $150, $200, $250. That, that, that's for a gamer. You just want to create a lab. So, Windows 10 uh, <coughs> over here, I think we're done with it. Now they want you to take the um the there are exams let's see what the exams are about <coughs> i took one already and i don't know how i did so start i clicked on start nothing is happening continue all right, so continue. So this is a little bit advanced, and it was not part of that uh, lab over there, so I'm not gonna take it because uh, I don't know. I haven't studied for it. 
So let's go back <coughs> and close it out. Let's close this one as well. Uh, auto login. This is it. So you can use the for trial version. You can go with Microsoft Word, Network, Security, you understand, and Python. I I think I've done. I'm done with this one. So there's nothing over there. Let's end this video, and I will see you in the next one.